Okay, we've got to talk about the Wikipedia cover-up. This is crazy. Information being uh, suppressed and deleted on Wikipedia, uh, especially as it pertains to UFO stuff. So let's talk about that. Uh, get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, this is uh, from the work of Rob Heatherly, who appeared on The Good Trouble Show with Matt Ford. Great episode. Highly recommend you check out the full thing. There's a lot of information in there. Uh, I'll just play you a quick summation of it, and I, I really can't get into all the de of the details in it uh, in a quick summation, but uh, here's, here's, just a, uh, here's Matt uh, giving his preview. Anyway, uh, our next guest, guest is no stranger to the UFO field, having interviewed some of the most important figures on the topic. His latest research uncovered an extensive, highly organized network of debunker Wikipedia editors who are dedicated to rewriting Wikipedia pages related to anything debunkers consider pseudoscience, and that includes UFOs. The Wikipedia pages of whistleblowers, academics, scientists, and journalists have been targets of this group, the guerrilla skeptics. Because these are private groups or secret groups, you can't join them. I have to allow you, and I have admins that will allow you to join the group, but we check you out because we don't want to allow, you know, somebody in who's, you know, infiltration oh my gosh yeah so that's where we spend a lot of our time but we've worked on pages on um, UFOs and spontaneous human combustion and all kinds of different uh, topics that are pseudoscience or, or misinformation uh, we there you go UFOs are uh, pseudoscience and misinformation and they are out to save us from that bad misinformation well Lou Elizondo responded to that saying this is more than just an attempt to disparage a few of us working towards disclosure. In fact, it's an assault on the very freedoms of every person who looks to reliable sources for information. When the outlets designed to inform and clarify information become corrupted by a few reckless agenda-driven zealots, it becomes downright dangerous for all our freedoms and casts doubt on all forms of media in freedom of the press. We must do a better job at policing ourselves of these types of characters. Remember, there is no greater evil than that which wears the mask of virtue. Indeed. Preach, Elizondo. Preach. This is an alarming uh, thing that is going on right now with the suppression of information and these people that uh, are uh, the gatekeepers of truth. Uh, they are the arbiters of what is true. Anything they don't believe is pseudoscience including the UFO phenomenon. From Tiny Claws, the removal of PhD titles after the names of all the authors of OSAP scientific papers is abhorrent. And there you can go, uh, you can see what has been removed. Uh, yeah, the PhDs after Eric Davis and Hal Pudolf, uh, Kit Green, all these guys. Uh, they're no longer PhDs, guys. Uh, according to Grill of Skeptics. And Daz Smith, a famous remote viewer, chimes in. Shocking, but also not shocking, as this has been going on for some years. The shock for me is, I guess, how coordinated they are. However, some people are saying maybe it's not as bad as we're thinking it is. Uh, Daniel Miller says, uh, This one in particular is just following the style guide within Wikipedia. I don't think there's any foul play on this edit. And you go over to the style guide and it says academic or professional titles such as doctor or professor, including honorary ones, should only be used with the subject of a biography if that subject is widely known by a pseudonym or stage name containing such a title, whether earned or not. In this case, it may be included in the pseudonym as described above, uh, however, verifiable facts about how a person attained their title uh, should be included in the article. Post-nominal letters for academic degrees following the subject's name may occasionally be used within an article where the person with the degree is not the subject. To clarify that person's qualifications with regard to some part of the article, 
though this is usually better explained in descriptive wording. Avoid this practice otherwise. So there you go. Maybe that isn't part of the cover-up. Okay, so what are we talking about, right? If the whole PhD thing is explainable, what exactly are these uh, Wikipedia editors doing? They took out all of his awards and they put in where he had a newsroom brawl where they tried to make it look like he started a fight. And Talking about Ross Coulthard. And, uh, you know, criminal behavior, aggressive. Yeah, we're, and we're, was, we're trying to break up a fight, but they right. didn't put that in. Right. Uh, and I think I think I may have a, a link to that. Uh, uh, so. Uh, removed the word reliable and instead inserted mm -hmm. skewed towards the false and so inserted a, a morphism that quote what was disturbing was not true and what was true was not disturbing removed necessary put in unnecessary removed justifiable put in unjustifiable Thanks. here's another one again on george knapps uh lucky louis adds in radio host adds in Noted for promotion of UFO conspiracy theories. Sounds like something Nick mm -hmm. West would say. It, just more, you know, again, at, here adding in uh, uh, another uh, Leon uh, uh, Golub, uh, ast astrophysicist, talking about mundane explanations such as bugs in the code for the imaging and display systems, atmospheric effects, and reflections. <clears throat> uh, Adds in the adds in the sentence the quote unidentified gauzy blobs appeared on cockpit displays. Mm -hmm. um, Talking about a tip. Uh, adds in again unidentified gauzy blobs. Adds in offboard radar. Um, and they say that the cases that haven't been solved are just because there was too much uh, a low information zone that Mick West coined the term of. So there you go. There's some examples of what these uh, Wikipedia editors did, like Lucky Louie, uh, these guerrilla skeptics. Uh, it's, it's, it's not good, guys. It's not good. They are going and tampering with information, trying to discredit the UFO topic and individuals and organizations that have pursued the UFO topic. Um, this is obviously, you know, propaganda. This is obviously disinformation and, uh, you know, a suppression of real information. Now, it may very well be that they are sincerely motivated, that they think this is pseudoscience, and they think they are justified in deleting and suppressing this stuff. They think they know more than we do, and thus they should be the arbiters of information. So it doesn't necessarily mean they are part of the UFO control group or that this is organized at that level. Uh, but, you know, who knows? They might be. But I'm thinking more likely they just think it's all bunk. And they are the ones they get to decide for the rest of us what we get to research and explore. This is BS. This is wrong. We all need to stand up for this, this censorship, the suppression of real information, uh, smearing of people that are uh, pursuing this topic. Uh, yeah, this is, this is, this is bad guys. This is bad, but this is what's been going on. I think for a while now, and we all need to be on guard against this disinformation. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media. Facebook and Twitter links are below. Love to see you guys there. If you wanted to support Cosmic Road in an even bigger way, please consider grabbing a coffee mug or a t-shirt in the merch store below or by becoming a channel member. Channel members are rock stars and I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you. Uh, also, channel members frequently get to see videos hours ahead of everybody else. Meanwhile, there are plenty of other videos on the channel and I'll see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road, signing out.